Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francis. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And today I have a thrift haul. Um, I know you guys are probably waiting for the part two of the um, Goodwill outlet haul that I posted a couple days ago. And I promise that is coming out. Um, it just worked out that I was gonna put this haul in between. So anyways, I went to my favorite thrift store of all time. It's just like my little like honey hole, if you, if you know. Um, so yeah, it's like, a, it's like a mom and pop thrift store. So there's probably only one in the whole country. <laughs> anyways, so I filled exactly an entire Ikea bag. Um, I usually can fill like an Ikea bag when I come here, which is great. So I have shoes, I have clothes, and then a couple like random things that aren't to resell. Um, but I, I will show you like here, I'll show you this. Um, they're just like little, I don't know. It was 99 cents. They're just like paper, like little note cards. And this is great for like writing like grocery lists or like to-do list or something because it's a good size I don't feel like I'm wasting like paper and it was only 99 cents I don't I, I hope these are just blank you know like I wasn't sure but I was really like willing to risk it for 99 cents so yep they're blank so they're just like nice I don't know I I write a lot of to-do lists like on paper it's just easier for me than doing it on my phone and um so I feel wasteful when I use like one of those like eight and a half by 11s. Anyways, let's just get started. So the first thing is these. Um, these are a pair of frame denim, size 28, and they're the Lay High Skinny. So I will only really pick up frame jeans if they're like a size like 27 and up now because I just feel like they sit. So the fact that these are size 28 and they're white with no stains that I can see so far. I looked in the store, obviously lighting's not that great inside, but yeah, they're really cute. Um, they're actually super stretchy as well. And yeah, as I can see so far, there's no stains. Um, they look to be really nice. I will probably list these for 50 and then go from there. Um, if you guys don't know, I have Posture VA, which is like a Chrome extension. Um, and so I have it set up to send automatic offers when somebody likes my item. So I usually list stuff like five or $10 more than like what I'd be willing to take. Well, actually that's not true. I'm willing to take lower than that even. Like I would be willing to take like 30 or 35 for these. Um, but I will list them for like 50. So that makes sense. I don't know. Um, I kind of just like, I just list stuff for random prices. Like sometimes I don't even look up comps, which I know is bad, but okay. This is an Eileen Fisher. This is an older tag, but since it's like a nice substantial sweater, I thought it'd be worth it. Um, and it's hundred percent linen. So that's great. It's this like really cute brown speckled, um, sweater this ugh, I'm so awkward this woman just walked by and totally knows that I'm filming but it doesn't matter right because I'm never gonna see her again that so yeah size large <laughs> I will probably list this for 35 to 40 um, okay so I went to the kids section and every kids item is 49 cents uh, no matter what it is I just grabbed these because I thought they were cute they're Ralph Lauren <laughs> don't know probably not worth 50 cents maybe though I don't know size nine months and they're like little shorts pull on shorts stretchy waistband I don't know I'll probably list them for 15 to 18 dollars because they are Ralph Lauren um what do you guys think like is that an older tag or is that just like their kids tag I don't know I thought it was adorable though oh yeah so there's shoes just mixed in here so they won't necessarily be in order but I thought this was such a good deal for these I paid $4.99 for these Fly Londons, so they're in really good condition too, like, I think this is like kind of a classic style by them maybe, um, so it's like a perforated upper, I just think that's really cute, um, and then they're a size 37, the bottoms look really nice, they just have a couple little like, maybe pebbles, but 
I don't know how much all this is for. I don't know the comps on those, but definitely worth $4.99 in my opinion. Okay, I got this for me. Um, this is a brand I'll only sometimes pick up at the bins. It's just Universal Thread. So this is for me, and um, it's like a maxi dress. I don't know about this color, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to Hawaii in about a month maybe less than a month so I need to get like dresses and stuff I don't really have any dresses um so I thought you know it was kind of cute I didn't try it on but that's okay <laughs> if it doesn't fit then I'll just sell it because it only cost me I think it was like three dollars or something because it was half off okay this is super cute this is torrid size 1x and how adorable is this it's like a what you would, what kind of material this is but it has embroidered daisies like all over it um button front it's actually really cute um I like this type of like it's not a shacket but I like this type of um button up it's just cotton and polyester but really cute I got this I don't know if you guys saw in my last haul you probably did um it like matches my butterflies but this shirt is from Uniqlo and I yeah, I showed it in my last video and it fits. I washed it, tried it on, and it fits. So I'm gonna keep it. Um, okay, this is another torrid piece. This one's a 4X, which is great. Um, and it's like a flannel, which is great for this time of year. So that's like mainly why I picked it up. I mean, I'm wearing a flannel right now. So obviously people are wearing flannels. Um, or it's just me, I don't know. <laughs> But I thought that was cute. Probably list for 28. I don't know. Okay. This is a bolo. This is a major bolo. So I saw this tag and I was like, oh, that looks cheap, right? Just by the tag. But the size is in European, which usually like hints at it being something. So this is the brand. Paul K but it's like P-A-U-L-E space K-A, size 36. I have no idea what this brand is, right? It is a silk cotton blend, but I looked it up and oh, wow. This is so, it's so expensive. It's like a cute top, actually. It's like ombre polka dot. Um, is it button front or is it just, oh. actually there's like snaps. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so there's like snaps on the front. I'm gonna show that. So it's like, you could wear it open or you could snap it and have it like this. Um, I paid $4.99 and I think comps were like near $100. I was like kind of shocked about that. I knew it felt nice. Like it definitely had silk in it and yeah. So I found a couple bolos. There's another brand in here that I've never found before and I was shocked about it as well. Um, okay, this is just Bailey 44. Um, I don't pick up every Bailey 44. It is sometimes sold at Anthropology. This, um, this was half off, so it was $3. And it's like this mini dress. Um, looks like this has a leather front panel. And I, I, I believe this is wool. So let me look. Uh, 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 uh. So this is faux leather, but yeah, wool. This part is wool. So I don't know, maybe like with tights and boots for the fall and winter, like that would be kind of cute. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is Habitat, size large. I like selling this brand actually. It sells pretty well. It's kind of like lag and look. If you don't know what that is, it just, it's like a, I don't know where the word is from, like where it originated, but it means like layered. Um, and it's a style that a lot of people like. It's kind of like artsy. Um, but yeah, 100% linen, so I did want to pick this up. If this was just cotton, I probably would have left it just because the resale value is not like insane on that brand, but yeah. Um, okay, this is Garnet Hill, which I really like picking up Garnet Hill, especially like dresses and sweaters and such. This is a size small, uh, and it's like this tan beige dress. It's really soft. Uh, it's just basic though, but I don't know. It's just, it's kind of cute. I'm not really sure. 
Okay, I actually kind of found a lot of dresses, and I think that the reason I found good dresses is because people shopping here for themselves aren't looking at dresses right now. So, tip, if you're a reseller, you can shop off season, you typically find good stuff because a lot of people are shopping for themselves and not looking for like spring and summer stuff. Um, but I still do. So this is a size US 2 and this is Bowden. And it is a dress, a like printed midi dress. It's pretty cute. Kind of has like a Y2K look, you know what I mean? And it is um, layered. I don't want to like, uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> uh, this is a Wilford Free, so if you don't know, that is a Ritzia, size extra small, um, it is a dress, it's actually really cute, um, this would be cute on, not on me, I'm not an extra small, and I probably wouldn't wear this, but on somebody, this would be cute, I want to try to find like a stock photo or something. It's kind of like long, but it's not fully maxi length. It's kind of midi, but yeah, it has like a wrap. Um, I think it'd be really cute. The person next to me is getting into their car. This is super awkward, um, but yeah, like maroon color. I like that. Okay, shoes. These are a pair of Naot. So N-A-O-T is the brand. I kind of paid up for these actually. Um, I paid $6.99, but this brand of shoe consistently sells for like $35 to $40, especially for like a cute Mary Jane style, which is this. Um, I just remembered that my windows are actually tinted, so they might not be able to see me, which is good. Um, they look like this and yeah, they're like a leather Mary Jane. I thought these were cute. What size are these? Um, like I say in every video, if you're interested in anything, just like comment below or DM me on Instagram and I will make you a good deal. Um, I can't find the size right now, but they look like a seven. I'm just guessing, but I actually have no idea. Um, okay. So this is one of the other random things that I got not to resell. This was $3.99, but actually I think it was 25% off. I don't know what this is but it's so cool to me i don't know why so this is definitely like european um mm, don't get mad at me but i don't know that flag you somebody definitely did. oh my god my face looks so funny through here somebody knows that flag um so i will have to look it up but i don't know what this is but it is so cute like little like train um and then the top says dawn like D-O-N, um, and then it has a like little thing. I don't know, it was like $3, so I thought I would give that one like to my dad or something. If it's worth a lot, then I will obviously sell it on like eBay, but yeah. Okay, another Bolo brand. Um, I've sold this brand a couple times, but if you've never heard of it, definitely keep it in mind. This is called Majorel. And this is a Revolve brand, um, probably sold at Nordstrom too, not totally sure, but size small. This is so cute. Um, kind of clashes with my shirt, so it's kind of hard to show. But the sleeves are like ruffle, um, and then it's a black and white polka dot, like midi dress. It is really cute, like a cutout. This brand is super expensive, and it actually keeps its resale value pretty well, which is like always a bonus. So yeah. Okay, this I saw last time I was there, but I wasn't willing to pay, whatever, $7.99 for it. So now that it's 75% off of $7.99, I definitely wanted to grab it. It is a J. Crew Mercantile, which is like um, the factory. I think it's factory. So looks like that, size eight. Um, but it's new with tags and it's just like this cute wrap top and it has um, a belt. I don't know. It's like a nice lavender color. I just thought it was cute. If it wasn't 75% off, like I said, I wouldn't have gotten it, but yeah. Okay. This is a brand that I recently started picking up. It's a plus size brand. It's called Catherine's and it's a size three X. This is a like duster cardigan, which is really nice for this time of year. Um, blue. It's pretty long actually. 
and um yeah I just thought it was it was nice substantial piece I don't pick up like everything by that brand just because some stuff is like pretty basic and it doesn't retail for like insane amounts not a designer um but yeah this is Torrid size 2x and this is another duster cardigan this is a red color I just think like this time of year these types of sweaters should sell um well hopefully <laughs> and yeah my stomach's growling hopefully you can't hear that I am really hungry okay oh bolo another bolo and this one you guys was 75% off of $5.99 for this brand I found okay I'll just show you so it's called La Causa um really expensive size small these can resell for a good amount like probably 50 to 75 dollars for this it is a like bodycon dress they have a lot of basics that are really like expensive but yeah so there's two other ones of these but they were both new with tags and they were charging like 19.99 but not discounted at all so i looked up comps and I just wanted to get this one. It's not new with tags, so that's probably why it was priced lower. And yeah, definitely a good brand, though, to keep your eye out for. Um, okay, here's another Bolo. This might be the last Bolo brand in here. Everything else is like bread and butter, kind of. Um, geez, this brand is so expensive. So I paid $4.99, but 25% off of this. And Alambica. I know I've heard that before, probably in like other people's haul videos or on Instagram or something. Alan Bika. Um, another lag and look type of style. Um, and you can also tell that it's lag and look because it has like a huge front pocket that usually is like part of the style. And then it has like a boat neck. It is really cute. This would be cute like over like a swimsuit, right? Like I would wear this, but since it's so expensive, um, I'm going to sell it because it's not worth keeping something like this. Um, I'm trying to find that materials tag and I can't find it. But if I had to guess, this feels like a cotton linen blend. It's so nice. I, yeah, I've never found that brand before. All right. So like I said, the rest is like pretty much bread and butter. <laughs> um, which if you don't know what that means, it just means like, it, it, it's just like typical like, easy 10 to 15 20 to 25 dollar flips it's not like anything exciting it's just like pays the bills or whatever okay this is j jill pima three quarter sleeve v-neck top that's what it says on the inside size large pima cotton size or it was 3.99 but 25 percent off and it's actually like this floral half sleeve top um yeah the fact that it's like print has like a print to it kind of makes it maybe a little more desirable um this is a Bowden size 10 and this was half off of $3.99 so that was only two dollars um it's like this nice jersey knit top it's a little like outdated of a style but I feel like still it's kind of maybe trendy I don't know yeah red probably list that for like 25 um this I got because um, the, ooh, because it's linen. Yeah. This was half off of $6, so $3. And it's a Chico's size 1.5, 100% linen, um, pair of, like, pull-on pants. And so they're, they're not just pull-on pants, though. They're, like, well, they are. But they have embroidery on them, which is another reason why I got them. And they're, like, kind of a wide leg. Maybe more of a straight leg. But I probably still would have gotten them even without the embroidery, but I thought that that kind of like elevated it a little bit. Maybe gave it a little more value. Um, okay, this will be impossible to like fully show because it is like floor length. It is so long. So this is soft surroundings, size small. And this is like a, what is that? Oh, it's a snap. Okay. So it snaps like that. So it looks like this, and then it's long sleeve. It's super soft too, but it goes like literally all the way to the floor. So I thought this was like a good substantial piece by Soft Surrounding Soft Surroundings. Um, 
yeah, I'm hoping to get like 40 or 45 for this because it's pretty nice. Uh, okay, these I saw here last time as well, but they weren't on sale. Now they were half off. So these are a pair of boots by the brand Naya, N-A-Y-A. -A. Um, I sold this brand before. Not like crazy expensive, but it definitely sells. Um, it has a little bit of heel wear, but these were only $3. So I thought I would give these a shot. They are a size eight and a half leather upper. So yeah, genuine leather. Okay, very last thing. I was like, I could have sworn this would have been um, Barefoot Dreams based on the feel. It feels identical, like actually identical. If somebody made me feel this with my eyes closed, I would be 100% sure, but it's not. So um, this was only $2.50 because it was half off. And the brand is Softies Patty Murphy size 2x slash 3x and I actually looked this up and comps aren't that bad they're like $30 or something like that maybe I have to look up comps again but it's like a purple cardigan and the fact that it's a plus size and it feels like barefoot dreams and the brand's not that bad and it was only $2.50 made me get this because yeah and I kind of like I, I kind of just like trying out new brands and such um okay and then so that's everything in my haul um and then I actually just went to the post office and I picked up some packages that I ordered so I got four pairs of jeans and um thought I would just like kind of show you these are super cute um by the brand democracy because I love the way they fit these have such a cute like little hem detail. So I got those and then I got these democracy jeans. They're like a cheetah leopard kind of print. Got these. This one has a thank you sticker. And then I got these camo ones. So yeah. All right. That is everything in this haul. I think I got some pretty good stuff, actually. I was pretty surprised by the amount of, like, Bolo brands I got. Um, yeah. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers as well. It's really awesome to see my channel growing and seeing all the new subscribers. It's just, like, it's crazy to me. So yeah, um, look forward to the part two of the Goodwill Outlet bins haul and then yeah, I'll have to film, film some more videos and put them out. So yeah, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.